Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorial Made Easy channel. As shown, I will show you how to make this application that accesses the MySQL database on a hosting server on the internet. Otherwise known as CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. There are at least three things that need to be prepared beforehand. The first is the API. It stands for Application Program Interface, which is the interface between the application and the server where the database is located. It contains some functions to create, update, insert, and delete a data. It is written in PHP. You can find the download link for the API and the database for this tutorial in the description. And the second is the MISCL server on the computer that we use to test our Android applications locally. For this purpose, I will use XAMPP that not only installing my SQL server, but also the Apache web server and PHP. My admin. The third, we need a hosting account. If you have one, you can use yours. In this case, I will use a free web hosting from webhost.com. It provide one MySQL database and PHP. Enabled, this should be sufficient for our demo purposes. This video only cover how to create the Android app to access remote MySQL database. And for those who need more explanation about the API and installing XAMPP are welcome to watch the video with this topic. The link is also in the description of this video. We have already seen how the application runs, also already know what is needed besides the Delphi program. Now, we should be ready to create the application, so let's start. First you have to open your Delphi and go to File menu, select a new multi-device application. Select blank application. Let's change the name of this form to for master, as I will use for accounts master data. Save this form and the project. Next, we need to add a layout component. Set the alignment to client. Then add a tab control inside the first layout and set the alignment as client 2. Add two tab item in the tab control. The first tab is to display the data and second tab is for add or modify data entry. We need to change the value of tab position parameter to dot. Change the name of each component to reflect its function and make it easy for us to identify when writing the code.
In the first tab item, the tab for listing the data, add two layouts component, one corner button and one list box component like this. Set the alignment of the first layout to top and the second to bottom and put the button component inside the bottom layout. Set margin bottom parameter of the bottom layout to 40 and set the alignment of the button to client. Add toolbar on the top layout, set the toolbar alignment to client. Set the bottom text to refresh and name it BT Refresh and then set all margin parameters of each component to 8. Double click on the refresh button. This will trigger the event handler code. Type list data into the refresh button event code and then create a procedure called list data. I have prepared the code. I will copy this code first and I will explain later. You can download full source code from the link in the description. We need this unit to parse JSON. This unit will help us parse JSON with FireDAC mem table component. So we need to add it to our project. From project menu, click add to project and then select the file.
If we check on the project source, we can see it from menu project, then click view source. Next, let's write list data procedure, the procedure to display the data inside the list box. We have not add a fired act mentable component. So let's add it. Select it from component paylet. Put it on the form and name it memdata. Let's try to run it. Use Windows as device target. There is an error. It looks I have miss end of the procedure. Let's fix it. The load item procedure basically will read account table data in the MISCL database by sending a command through API and store the result data in the memdata table. The action or command name is load item which required some parameters. They have to be matched with what already defined in the file named a PI CRUD. The command result stored in memdata, then the second part of this procedure will read the memdata and display it into list box. Let's see if it works. Yes, it looks good. The data displayed correctly. Try changing the data order and see if there is any change in the appearance. We have successfully read the data from MISCL table. Next we will create the user interface for add, update, and delete the data. In the second tab item, add layout component. Set the align property to top, and add a corner button inside it. Set the align parameter to client.
Add second layout, set to align top, and add label and edit component. Arrange the label to be inside edit component. Set the align and the margins properties, then edit the name of the component. This edit component is for account description column. Let's add the third layout and add two button inside it. Set the margin property to 8 and align property to top. Next, set the button name and text, to save and delete. Back to the first tab item, let's add a new button, Put it on the toolbar and set the text property to add new. I think we should add an exit button here.
Let's add the event handler on click button, so that way at click it will terminate the application. Next, we will finish creating functions to update the database, add and delete data. I have prepared it, you can download the source code later. There are three constants that are defined. API root is the address of the API server that we will use. I've done the setup on localhost on my laptop and on 000webhost.com. Next, let's create an event handler for each button and hook it up to the appropriate function. For example, for the add new button, after clicking, it will switch tabs and set the process value to sinsert, so that when the save button is clicked, it will run the function of adding data. Select Windows as the target, and then let's run it. Next. Let's continue. Create an event handler for each button and hook it up to the appropriate function. We have completed all the code, now it's time to try it. First, we try to access the data on localhost. Data successfully displayed. Let's try to delete one data. Now change the target platform to Android, but the MISCL server address remains localhost. Expected result is failed. Now change the server to webhost.com and try again.
The results are in line with expectations, meaning that the application we make is working properly. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe, then click the bell.